right. How you doing? Everything's so low. But anyway, got the blade done. Getting ready to put the handle on. Uh, the handle, how I like to do it, especially if we're going for more of an ancient, kind of medieval forester look. I just like to take a nice dry branch and if you take your axe and you get it right in the center of the branch, very important that you follow the grain. I don't know if you can see it, but like in this particular branch, right there you see that split? That's going against the grain. The grain actually is going this way. So pretty much when you get your axe going, let's see which way is that going? There it is. When you get your axe going, you want to follow the grain. The grain's going up and down on this one. So put your X like that. And pretty much then, all you do is you split it down, straight down the center, until you get the length that you need. And then once you get the length that you need, you take a saw and you cut it off, giving you two pieces of wood. Now, personally, what I like to do is once I have my pieces of wood, sorry, I'm walking all over here. I like to just do a dry fit with it, figure out exactly where I want it and how I want it. Yeah, I wanted something like that. Give the blade a little bit of an angle. And I think I did go ahead and mess up because I did cut this piece a little too short. That's okay, I can back it up just a tad. There you go, that has a nice feel to it now. So, so once I get the handle where I want it, go ahead and I kind of remember where I want the holes. Once I remember where I want the holes, we go to our old And we draw all the way through. Because I did put that curve, that curved tang on it, I kind of want it like that. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our first. Play our first, kind of where we want it. And once we have that, I'm shivering because it's cold out here. Once we have that, what you can do, which is the safer way to do it, Let's try to find a pen or something that is small enough. Oh, I should have done this before I made the video. I apologize. Give me a second. Yeah, 
bucket of finishing nails somewhere around here. There they are. Just bring a bunch over. Why not? So I can lose them all. Sounds good. But what you can do is once you clean off your workstation, because you always leave it a mess because you're a bad boy. Never clean up my workstation. Anyway, what you can do is you can take a little finishing nail. And once you get where you want it. Take that finishing nail that you have, put it in a hole, and do a quick few taps on it. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to indent in the metal a little for you. And show you exactly where you need your holes when you go to drill. Now we're going to get a drill push going. Smooth that out. But oh well, no biggie. So now, what I like to do for rivets is I like to take some brass or copper nails, and what I'll do on the grinder here in a minute is I'll actually take these brass nails and I'll knock off the head and then I'll use my peening hammer and my anvil to actually go ahead and peen them. And peening is when you mushroom the head of a piece of metal to make it so it can't go all the way through the metal. So let me put the knife aside now that we have our markers. Get my safety glasses. And we'll aim this towards the grinder that we can't see. Because this is in the way. That's okay. And put that in the mouth. Like a bad boy. And put that. I swear to God, one time we had this all set up all nice. But as per usual, power cords and the such tend to walk away on you. Uh, we got power there.
hard to move the screw. But yeah, so as you see there, I just like to knock off the head and don't worry about any bend or anything you get in there because you can just straighten it out later on an anvil On your uh, what is that called? Vice. Now, once you have that done, we readjust the camera so you might be able to see. Come on, <laughs> the vice. But all you do. Take these damn bifocals off. Pretty much what I like to do. I like to put my nail in position just a little bit. And just gently. and you can't see what I'm doing. I really should move that closer so you can see what I'm doing. But I really don't want to. <laughs> As I said before, this tang is super, super um, flimsy, more so than I would ever want it to actually be. And if it does turn out that you need to expand your hole, says as he continues to struggle. There we go. Well, guess not. There it is. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. 
yes, 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 I like that, I like that a lot. So now we're going to do the same thing. With... Sit there, we're going to pound it through. This one seems to be going in an angle. Wonderful craftsman to get there. Huh, interesting. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Now we're going to take, once again, a spare brass nail. Go ahead and pull it through that hole too. I put that one in at an angle. It's going to be a little finicky, but that's okay. We just keep working at it until you get it set to how you want it. All right. So see. So since. That middle one did go in through an angle. I'm going to have to fix it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now drill <laughs> which I can't drill because I don't have the proper one plugged in. Ah. There she goes. Oh, 
good. This hole is. Needs more brass nails. And it's, once again, I used to have a whole big toe home. Where they went off to, I don't know. But now I just found them, so I feel like an ass. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're gonna put that one through. Dad one through. And now we're going to cuss. I don't know where the other side of my project went to. Is that it? That's it. Side of the project. And we should be able to line all these up one way or the other. Turns his back towards the camera once again, not allowing to see, let the people see what he is doing. Tang is so unbelievably bad. It is so wibbly wobbly. It's not even funny.
not the proper way to use a drill press. Not a proper way at all. But my grandfather did it. So hopefully it's good enough for me. That back nail head. Having issues with the back nail head. But it's okay, because as I said before, you want it to be a tight fit. here for a moment. This is so much easier to do when you're not trying to explain it. push our nails through a little bit. So, there's that one. And there's that one. Wow. This tank is unbelievably 